It's Sunday 25th of September. Uh, we're at day two of the Lincoln show. Looking forward to having a look around. It's going to go and empty the toilet facilities here. One of those not so great tasks that you have on a, for us, three daily basis. And it's just time to empty the loo. It's, um, it's got some rather interesting Elson points, which are removable ones. That's a delightful toilet uh, emptied. A lot lighter than it was before. Back to the van, get ourselves sorted out. Obligatory painkillers. Now let's see how we get on. Oh, how are we doing? Alright, just making a cup of tea. Ooh. Cover's looking full. Yep. Slightly unusually, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to tip the um, green straight in to the bottom here. don't normally do it this way, but... Second day of the show. What do you... Uh, what are we going to look for today? We're going to look at some motorhomes inside. Oh yeah. What do you get for your money yeah. in 2000? And, well, actually, what do you get for your money late 2021? Yeah. Yeah. And we're just going to have a general mooch around. I believe, I believe there's a rumour, an ugly rumour that there might be some breakfast on the carts. Ooh. Always a good plan, that. Get one from the inside there as well. It's got a little... It's a little 135. We'll have to go in. Have a look. See what you think. It's like a smaller option, isn't it? It's a makeup oh. bed though. Is it? Yeah. But it'll do for two people. Yeah. I like the um, the finish on the, the doors and everything, that's really pretty. Nice comfy seats. How's the storage looking? It's got a microwave. Does the nice storage, storage need approval? Small freezer, nice cooker, three rings with a halogen. They've crammed a lot in, haven't oh, they? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Drawers underneath the cooker. Oh, that's nice. For two people? Yeah. yeah that is nice. You don't need to go in there. So this is a little Vesica and kind of this might be the sort of thing that two people would love and I really like this the quality the fittings on this is absolutely superb tiny little micro the only problem I've got is the headroom 
above my head is not. So the, these motorhomes are pretty much selling out at the show, which is good for the dealers. There's some really nice vans here. This is uh, Fuller Leisure. Just looked at a little Bessie car, which is really nice. Oh, Alice has found something else. Look at that, eh? Again, this is... Um, Oh, this is a tribute, so this is a auto trail. Oh, okay, cab over, bed over cab. It's nice. Again, I think you you, you sort of they are. You don't like. Them. They are look. Yeah, I'm, I, I mean, I'm not a. I think for two people, I mean, the bed over is great if there's two of you and you're fairly athletic, but. We don't come in that category. <laughs> but otherwise, this is nice, isn't it? They all seem to have microwaves. Yeah. Microwaves, oven. Well, I'm assuming that's the heating blown out yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Fridge. Yeah, that's nice. And what did you say this was? An auto trail? Auto trail tribute. Tribute. I'm guessing that means it's on a Ford chassis. We'll have a look. Hey, that's a 43 for the tribute. It's a 17 plate. 17 plate. Yeah, that's, not a, that's not overly bad. That's a nice little van, that. This is a six berth with a tag axle. Now, this is interesting. A Rafa, no. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Can you get in? Oh! Wow! Is it different? Now that's a lot of space. I'm just going to go down the other end of the vehicle and look at the back of the van. That's a long way away. So that's a that, lot of room in here, isn't there? Another over there. Wow! Now I can understand why you'd have something like this. This is lovely. Tons and tons and tons of storage. It's even got an Avtex TV storage down here. I would imagine this makes out into a bed. Then you've got the over bed there as well. Yeah, fridge and freezer. I'm intrigued as to how this is looking like. So you've got an enormous shower, which is good. We always like a good shower. And you've got a window in the door set as well. Yeah, it's nice. And the doors have that really nice closing quality. And the kitchen area is nice as well. It's just nice, isn't it? Big. Big. And for a family. It's nice. Keep Bob on, wouldn't it? Conventional stove down there, that. We'd be um, lost Sport in here. Just dinette. Wow. Yeah, that's very cool. Those are controls. No, it's good. That's nice. It's lovely. And that's the. Looks like a tag axle arafo. There's a bit of a queue to get into this. But this is very cool. This is cool. It's a little van conversion. I do like the the uh, underlights. It's really well laid out, isn't it? And you've got the roof space up here. That is really cool. That's a lovely piece of kit, that. 
That's really nice. That's really nice. A tiny little van. Yeah. And that's from Wild Axe Motorhomes. Hundred and thirty brake engine. Let's have a look then. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a lot of space in here. So this is a pilote. Pilot? Pilote. Someone tell me if I've got that right or wrong. Pilote or pilot? It's very nice. Very clean example of what you can get in the second hand market. And also really, really pleasant. This is nice. So you got like conventional three out there. Little oven. oven. Storage. Full size fridge. Let's have a look at this bed. Because that's obviously sleeping department. Oh, nice shower. Oh yeah, I like that. I like the idea you can get in both sides, and then you looks like you've got wardrobey type stuff down here. Nice and airy, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Yeah, that could that could turn my head. That could definitely turn my head. That is nice. What's in here? Oh, here's the little. Oh right, okay. So we have a loo. And then across the way we have the shower. Mm, okay. What? Cool. So this pilotti, pilot, pilotti, 15 plate, very clean, very nice. 52. And Bailey at 50, 49.995. This is uh, an advance. So this is similar in size to ours. Oh, it's got a transverse bed. Now here we go. That's interesting. So transverse bed and you can walk all the way around. Here's me modelling walking all the way it's around. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. You've got like cupboards over the bed. So I'm guessing it's kind of more weighted on one side. So you'd probably want to put all your crap on the other side. Oh, I don't know really, because if you're, if you're sat down doing nothing, it doesn't matter really. All the normal conventional UK market stuff, fridge, oven, microwave, tons of space. Very light and airy. I do like that. I like a light and airy. And then we've got a really nice wet room. Yeah, wet room. So that's cool. Happy with that. And the seating area down the front has one lateral seat and a dinette. And I'm guessing that captain's chair turns round. Yeah, huge great big skylight up above. Hmm. There's an optional layout. That's really quite nice. I like that. Not looked in many Baileys. Definitely be something I think we'd want to have a consideration of next time. I do. Yeah, I like the idea of the dinette at the front. Very good. We're about an hour in now. There is an awful lot of camper vans that are sold yeah. in this show. This is, can only be encouraging. Going up at 45. Let's have a little look. So you've got dinette and lateral seat. Lounge at the back. Bed. Bed above my head that I've just smacked my head into. Ouch. Oh yeah, that's pleasant. That's an all-in-one shower area. I'm guessing there's a, a rail over there with a cabinet. Yeah, with a tassel. There'll be a rail. Over, there'll be a rail over there with a curtain, and that makes a wet room. I like yeah. this because like you've got room. Transverse galley, just a bit. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, that is nice. And we've got the electronic bed. Lots of room down the front here. Not overly convinced about having a great big bulkhead here by the driver's seat. Because I spend a lot of time in the driver's seat. But, admittedly, that would suit a family really well. And 45k.
Some of these are really, really nice. I found one of Mercedes. Have a look. I think if we were looking to swap out Lady G, possibly something like this would be definitely on the cards. So there you go, we get that. So it's an A class. It's an island bed. Let's have a quick, just have a quick look inside. Look at that. Bedroom. This Cathago 18 plate coming out at £105,000, 7.43 metres. So this is a metre longer than Beryl Mary and it's an A-class. Let's have a little look. You can tell the build quality straight away. Something else. Bed that comes down here. I mean it's just lovely. Loving the wine glasses in here. Oh, the build quality is spot on. Separate toilet and shower. I could definitely nice. definitely go with this. Let's have a look at this bed. Looking down in the area. Yeah, that is nice. I'm aware that I'm saying it's nice a lot, but well they are. Yeah, this an A-class has got a lot going for it, I think. This would be your van to keep. Yes, I think so, yeah. Wouldn't it? It's if nice. Yeah, I mean, stop like saying it's this. nice, I mean, but yeah, I mean, it, it's really pretty. It's nice to dream, isn't it? Yeah, it's loads of, loads of space. If you haven't got a dream. I like, I like the A-class. Partially ready, isn't it? It's boarded out, ready to go. This is a lovely colour. That's a burnt orange. No, yeah, it's lovely. 43. That is really pretty. <laughs> I like a lot of that. Let's just have a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. That's really cool. Little Lou here, nestling away. Stores. Yeah, yeah. Just kitchen. That is clever. This is the Colorado conversion from Devon Van Conversions. That is nice. So I'm intrigued because that's clearly got a shower. So let's just have a look down here. So this will pull out here. And we've got blown air heating all around this. Clearly there's uh, either an inverter or it's ready for hookup. All the controls over on the wall. I love that idea there of the plates. The uh, Arizona from Devon Conversions. Let's have a little look. Again, little touches that are really cool, like the way that this they've done the uh, plates. Fridge is all built in. There's a lot of space in this panel van conversion, and I suspect in here. That pulls over, bit of privacy. That's just a covenant. So that does that. Okay, and the loo is at the back here. And I'm guessing that's a shower. So, uh, I'm here with uh, Ben from UK Air. Uh, ben, um, tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Here. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, the, obviously the concept came from uh, the French system of airs, um, which is of course French for area. And of course, the air, the camping car, is um, uh, a space obviously for parking up overnight motorhomes. We want that in the UK. We've always wanted it in the UK, uh, and that's what we've tried to do. So we've replicated that by having a very slick online system. Um, and what we do 
do is we get things like public houses, um, schools, uh, no, no, town halls, we all of the sorts that have spaces that waiting to participate. Protests, essentially. So are you, are, you, are you going up against uh, organisations like Brit Stops and so forth? It's a very similar concept. Uh, I know Brit Stop tend to be just pubs. They tend to uh, yes. publish uh, a book every six months, I believe. Is it a new version? It's every year. Yeah. Every year. Um, and with the greatest respect to Brit Stops, the minute the book is published, it can actually go straight out of date because locations may choose not to do it anymore. And you'll never know until you ring them. I've spoke to a lot of pubs over the time and about 50% of them will actually answer the phone because they're always busy. So you're never sure if you can get in if it's fully booked. What we've done is we've bought it all online and it's a very, very, very simple site to use. Very complex in the background, I must say. Uh, eight months in the making. Um, as soon as we ping, uh, put a site on, uh, we put how many spaces are available. So uh, in this particular location in the Star, for example, um, we could have uh, just once we've booked in, you're not supposed to see this unless you remember, but I'll let you exclusive well, yeah, access. Exclusive access yeah. <laughs> um, so once you do, it's just twenty pound a year, by the way, to be a member, or two ninety nine a month. You can cancel at any time once you take the uh, rolling contract. Rolling contract. So, 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 so you can test it out for a month. So yeah. If you don't like it, you can you can stop after the month. Sounds good. Absolutely. Where we're at. This is UK Air and. Click on a site, double click it. Again, there, you've been going for how long? Yeah. The site went live two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So we're in the ground floor here. We're, we absolutely <laughs> hit the ground running 100%. We've got lots of other plans, things okay. like route planning and things like yeah, yeah, that we'll do, sure, yeah, using yeah. our network of ears. Okay. You can leave reviews now and these type of things, which is obviously great feedback from from, uh, from you good fellows that we like. And also we like to try and hold people a little bit accountable, which is why the registration number is captured. Because if we do get a couple of unsavouries that make a mess and things like that, not, not that we all do that by any stretch of imagination, for the ones that do, we can hold accountable as well. You are code here. Uh, we're going to open it in Safari. Yeah, at the opening screen, we've got a, plenty of options here as to what we can do in terms of subscriptions. Um, we're going to sign up for one month, right. so we can try this out. Um, and two ninety nine. So we're going to sign up here, yeah, yeah, absolutely. and we'll see how easy this is. Okay, so I'm going to fill all these gubbins out, and we'll come back to it. So I've set up for the month now with UK Air. So what we'll do is we'll try a couple of these next week during our mystery tour, and we'll report back. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Cheers now. Thanks ever so much.